<laughs> and you know who the fuck I am. Who do right out the dark side? Definition of thug. Murder motivated by dead homies. I am bound by blood. Lay you down in mud. Then I beat from the scene. Took you to hell, then I vanished. For you was able to scream. I'm a traveling freak show with Avalanche Street flow. They ignite me with C4. I survive like a cheat code. Now I'm in beast mode. Here to hold down the throne. Prepared to break niggas' bones and leave them by headstones. How could I be dead wrong if I'm still alive, right? My enemies dead and gone, and I'm in the limelight. You say you a psycho. I see through you like plastic without no warning or reason. I'm at your dome with the hatchet. Yeah, we do it for fun and for the love of this. You try and run, leave you in a puddle of piss, blood, and shit. I'm with the graveyard gang, and we back on our shift. They all deadly like the strain, and I'm revenge in a sip. We tell them it's murder. What's good, YouTube? Rogue DZ back with another Division 2 video. How you guys doing out there? I just wanted to say some, thing, some things real quick before we get into the video. Um, you know, I want to thank you for everyone that's been subscribing lately. I appreciate it. You don't even know how much it means to me. Um, I got my, my uh, Rogue DZ Facebook page is up and running, as well as my Patreon. Um, my Twitch channel also, and my Twitter account, so if you want to, go ahead and follow me, you know, subscribe, send me a friend request, go over to the Patreon, check it out, you know, whatever you want to do, you can see those on the, uh, the top bar on my page, basically the, uh, background photo up at the top, we'll have all the links to those in the bottom right of that picture, alright, but I've been looking at the analytics, and I've been looking at everything lately, and what I've noticed is you guys love the build videos so that's what i got for you today i got an lmg build video for you this is my lmg pvp build um focused around you know well bloodsucker and we got on the ropes as well as the sweet dreams but uh let's get into the gear all right so main weapon for the build i'm running is the black market m60 unhinged no brainer optimized you know you don't have to run that or most people like to run Allegro for the increased rate of fire. Me personally, I prefer Optimize. That 15% weapon handling is huge. Um, reload speed, you know, accuracy, stability, all that good stuff really pays off. In the third slot, I got Cannon. Now that's not required. It's not necessary. That's just how the gun came. And to be honest with you, I don't mind, especially playing demo. You have that increased explosive damage. So those grenades do hurt. And I can throw them a lot further, well, further, maybe not a lot further, but further than most. Alright, and then in the secondary slot, I'm running the Sweet Dreams or the Lullaby. We're basically just running this for the holster talent evasive while equipped dodging reloads 25% of your current magazine. Well, you know, I got 100 rounds in the mag, so when I roll, I get 25 of my rounds back. It's pretty good. You know, and you could always try to work in some of the other talents on the uh, shotgun. If you felt that was necessary, you know, if you're someone who likes to switch weapons, melee, go back, do this. People might remember that from the Division 1. Um, you know, switching to your pistol, downing someone to get the procs, and then switching back to your other weapon. Um, Alright, pistol, nothing fancy. Really, I'm just running this for the protected reload. Alright, and then I got a Gila Guard mask. Got 6% health, and it's not all that great. 266... 263 skill power, excuse me, and then empowered rolled on there. 173 skill power in the mod slot. Now, this is for solo play. I have this set up right now. Um, if you're in a group, I would probably say go with the spotter mask. <clears throat> it's funny if you look, it increases my stats, but the funny thing, I want my skill power up there. So it's kind of eh, give, take, give, take, you know, but whatever's comfortable for you. Um, you know, that 20% weapon damage to pulse enemies is great. Um, like I said, that's probably better for team play. Or if you're comfortable enough, you could always Thank run pulse um, solo and try to burn people quickly. Hey, you know, whatever you want to do. This is all subjective. This is just how I do it. You can do it however you want. I'm just putting a blueprint out there. Um, chest piece, I'm running Bloodsucker. 
Uh, 47.2 native armor on the chest, got a 12.5% total armor, 225 skill power, close to 18k regular armor. Um, defensive protocol, we're looking at almost 5k health, 3% extra incoming healing, 8% skill health. Uh, you know, over 4k armor, 2% explosive resistance, and another 4% total armor. And then for the mod, I got a 4% LMG damage, 1.5 weapon damage, and 1% damage to health. Now, I'm running Bloodsucker because that's what, that's what I like to run personally. It seems like Unbreakable is the meta. If you want to run this with Unbreakable, be my guest. It's all about what you're comfortable with. You know, I'm comfortable with Bloodsucker. You might be more comfortable with Unbreakable, however you want to do it. You know, I, I think the skills, they work very similarly. They're both very they're both powerful and, you know, close to the same way. Um, like I said, it's just preference and all about what you're comfortable with. All right, for the holster, I'm running the Petrov Defense Group holster. Got a 222 skill power, 2,716 health on kill, and almost 35k health. We're just running this for the 10% LMG damage. Personally, I'd rather like to have a, you know, a good Petrov chest or Petrov backpack and go to one of those pieces instead so that I can get a holster here with a uh, good talent on it. You know, like maybe uh, devastating, even uh, precise wouldn't be bad. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the backpack. We're running a Giligard backpack, 43.6k armor. It's got 5% health, but then it's got 10.5 weapon damage, 9% cooldown reduction. We've got on the ropes and hardened. Those are important, those two talents there. And then for the mod, you got this defense system mod slot, 3,195 armor, 4.5% total armor, and 3% explosive resistance. In the utility cell, I've got 142 skill power, 1.5 burn damage. I mean, that's not really that important. For the gloves, we're running out summit. You got 20k armor, 11% LMG damage with compensated. 111 skill power, 3% grenade damage, and 1.5% explosive damage, which all works pretty well. Synergizes well with the with the demolitionist. For the knee pads, I'm running Murakami's. It's got 28.8k armor, over 16k armor rolled onto it. With patience, in the mod slot, we're looking at over 5k health, 2.5% extra incoming healing, and uh, close to 900 armor regeneration <clears throat> if I could get those other uh, like I said the Petrov chest or the uh, Petrov backpack that I'm looking for definitely switch this holster most likely switch those knee pads to some Gila knee pads oh, maybe like these ones right here get a little bit more armor well actually I end up being quite a bit more armor but hey you know that's just how I'm doing it uh, you know my health is kind of low um, what we try to focus on doing is making sure that our, we never are completely out of armor. If we are out of armor, then we get into cover quick and we try to take care of it. But that's why I run the Murakamis, to bring up that health, so at least that way we can take a couple more bullets, you know, before we die once our armor gets popped. Now, for the skills, I'm running the Fixer Drone and the Chem Launcher. Nothing special on the fixer drone. I don't have an auxiliary battery, so we got some cooldown reduction. We got a little bit of health, so it can't be destroyed as easily, and then a little bit of armor repair. Um, I would love to get an auxiliary battery to go with that drone, but um, you know, R and Jesus has not been listening. Kim launcher here. Got a dead mod in the agitator slot, and then I got in the thematic slot a 24.3% healing. Got a little bit of boost there on the healing. Um, like I was saying at the beginning of the video when I showed off the one well, at the beginning, but towards the beginning when I showed off the mask, if you're running spotter, now you could always go to your pulse setup. We'll go ahead and just put it on for the hell of it. I got 788 pulse skill power auxiliary battery in that bad boy. We could go with like 45.6 cooldown reduction. Man, the, those auxiliary batteries are insane. But that's almost cutting my cooldown, you know, in half. The cooldown's 30 seconds, 31.7 seconds. 
So every 31.7 seconds, if I was to run spotter, here's the thing, I think if I run spotter, I won't be able to run that cooldown reduction. Let's see how it works out. <laughs> I only got 873, so 1, 9, eh. See, with this setup, unfortunately, it might be better to run with a sectoration, 28.3. All right, so I know what we're going to do. We're going to put this sectoration right there. We're going to move that battery right there. So we gained about almost three seconds duration of pulse being up. I mean, that might sound like a lot, but a lot happens in three seconds when you're fighting. Um, but yeah, that would be more of a team-based way of running it. Everyone would have healing. You most likely would have a... Uh, survivalist with you so the healing wouldn't be quite as important as long as they're helping the group properly i mean you know this is the, the lmg build i put together tell me if you guys like it you know drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video guys i got the pvp video coming in the next couple days all right thanks take it easy